Hello guys, welcome to another video in this React series. This is a continuation of my previous video on React data table. If you have not watched that one, please feel free to go back and watch that video and come back to this one. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. In the previous two videos, we have created a React data table and added that one in our React application. And we have added different features such as page navigation, sorting, page filter. So in this video, we'll fetch the API data or HTTP data and display that one in our React table. This is a quite common scenario in real-time example where we need to fetch the data from HTTP calls, API calls or from a database. For that one, first let's open the code editor. Here we have set up a code for our data table and here you can observe we have added the data manually here that is a static data but in real time scenarios it will be from any database or any API call or from any JSON file. In that case we need to directly connect to that particular JSON file or external file or any database. So for that one we need to do some modifications here to fetch the data from an API. So for this example, to fetch the data, I am going to use Axios library to make the API calls or HTTP calls. If you don't know how to use Axios or how to install that one, you can refer one of my video in which I have clearly explained how we can install and use Axios. I have provided the link for that video in the description as well. So the first thing here we need to do is as we are going to use external calls or HTTP calls here we need to have use effect hook here. So let me import that one at the top. As you know we will use use effect in react.js to handle the side effects or any external calls. Then as I mentioned here I am going to use axios to make API calls. So let me import that one as well from axios library. Next step is as I mentioned this is the static data which we have added in our earlier videos as now we are going to import data from an HTTP call or where we are going to directly connect to JSON file in this example. So let me remove this one and let me add one state here by name data where we are going to fetch the data and store it here. And the next thing or the main thing which we need to do it here is we need to fetch the data from API. For that one first I have added use effect here. Within this use effect I am going to call the API by using the axios.get method. So this will fetch the data from this URL and whatever the response we get it that will be stored in the data state by using the set data function. And if there is any error that will be shown in our application by using this code. As we have already filtering the data here and which we are feeding into our data table, we don't need to make any changes in this JSX elements. One thing we need to cross verify here is the columns which we have defined here at the top that should match to the columns which are present in this URL or API. So let's go to that URL. Here we can see we have ID that is already we have defined in our columns object and we have already defined name as well. But if you observe here, we have defined age column but that is not present in our URL. So instead of age, let me pull email here and pass that one to our third column. By doing these changes, we are done with the changes required to fetch API data from an API. So let's save all the files here and go to browser to preview this application. Now you can observe this data table is directly connected to this API. Here we can observe there are 10 items present in this JSON file and those 10 items are fetched and related data is feeded here. So these are the simple steps which we need to perform to fetch an API data and display that data in our application. This is very useful real-time scenario which you may come across in your day-to-day -day work. I hope you got a fair idea to fetch the data now. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you like this, please click on like button, share it with us and subscribe to my channel.